I'll introduce the speakers, and they will be Nokia's own Łukasz Ziobroń and Kamil Szatkowski with modern C++ quiz. Gentlemen. Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to our C++ quiz. I hope you all use C++ 14, do you? Who do not use C++ 14? Okay, there are a few hands up. So I guess you use C++ 11, right? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, okay, a uh, few words about us. Uh, my name is Łukasz Ziobroń. This is Kamil Szatkowski. We work together in Nokia and we are uh, software developers and trainers and we train people on modern C++. We also do some stuff like speaking on some conferences like this one, for example, and also we have our programming blogs. But uh, to now we will be talking about C modern C++. This is the history of C++ standardization and I hope that no one right now use C++ 98 or 03. You all should use C++ 14 or at least 11 because in next year we have a next release which is C++ 17. So uh, you know that older version of compilers have all, all that flux that you need it to enable to use modern C++, but C++ uh, from uh, new versions of Clang and GCC, you don't not need to provide any compiler flux. And we would like to ask you some question about modern C++. So let's play our game. The first one is easy. Which of the following keywords were introduced in C++ 11? And please raise your hands up for vote. Who is for A, const exp? Almost whole of the audience, okay. Who is for a decal type? As well, whole of the audience. Uh, who is for C, no except? Good, the same. Uh, who is for null keyword? No one, good. And who is for auto keyword? A uh, few hands up, no, no, no. <laughs> so what is it with auto? Is it new in C++ 11? No, it's not new. Uh, proper answers are A, B, and C. Okay, so yeah, auto was earlier but had different meaning, thank you, and it meant that uh, variable is automatic, so created on stack. Every variable is created on stack, so it was redundant. Question number two. We are passing empty pointer to bar function, like that. We pass null pointer and which of its overloaded version is called? Who is for A? No one. Who is for B? I can see one hand up. And who is for C? Okay. And yep, C is proper answer, but of course, if C do not exist, then B will be called. Question number three. What is the type of variable something? in this example. Who is for answer A? It's integer. No one. Who is for B? It's std initializer list of integers. Only a couple of hands, okay. Who is for C? It's std array. Nope. Okay, who is for D? Also no one. Well, a proper answer is B. But, I don't know if you know, from C++ 17 it will be A. <laughs> okay, question number four. What will be the result of the following code? Any ideas? Just shout. Compilation error. What, what kind of error? No overloaded uh, operator for Stream operator, right? No. <laughs> the code will not compile, but no matching function for this uh, brace and closed list. So uh, templates cannot deduce uh, std initializer list. Yeah, but when we do something like that, then what happens? It's no longer, uh, it, Compiler does not need to deduce type, so it will be different. 
error, right? Uh, and as you said here, it will be no match for operator uh, of input of the stream. So question number five, does this code compile? It should be easy. Yes or no? Who is for yes? Who is for no? Okay, I can say that can see that half of the audience is for yes and half is for no. So the proper answer is it depends. <laughs> if we use C plus plus ninety eight, it's okay. But in C plus plus eleven, no, because we have implicit type narrowing and it's not allowed. Okay, for question number six. Are these lines correct? Who is for option yes? They are correct. A few hands up. Who is for no? Only a, f okay, the majority was for yes. Um, and the answer is, it depends. Because in C++14, both are correct, but in C++11, uh, there was a bug and the first one is not correct. You needed a double uh, braces for it. Okay, question number seven. What will happen here? Anyone? It will not compile, okay. But why? Most vexing parse, yep. This is a good answer. So, uh, compiler treats this initialization, initialization of item uh, as a function declaration and we cannot assign five to a function. Okay, what is the type of G1 here? Array with square brackets. Any other answers? Uh, array of ter elements of gadgets. Any other answers? Pointer, yep, that's the proper answer. It's pointer to gadget. And probably you know what happens now when we have auto reference. Now it's a reference to ten to ten gadgets. Example, exactly. Next question is, yeah, what's wrong with this case, with, with this code? Ah, uh, yeah. So the answer is, uh, you, we should change a, a pair. Yeah, the first element. The first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that, that's correct, yes. And in C++11, for this case, we should use auto with const, reference, of course, because it will give us the correct type always. And will this code work or not? Who is uh, for the answer that this code will work? Okay, okay. Uh, there's one answer. I see. Uh, who is for the answer that this code won't work? Nobody. I can see nobody. Okay. So, yeah, this code will work in C14. C14, and yes, it's automatic return type detection. Plus, uh, the S at the end of the string means it's literal, literal from C14. And this means that this 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 this, this uh, variable, or maybe constant, will be a string, as to the string. Uh, okay, what will happen in this code? Link error? No. That that works. Yes. So there are two answers: link error. Yes, and yes, this answer that it will work, and yeah, it will print 213. And what about this one? Will it work or not? Oh, some propagation, uh, yes. Uh, and okay, I will go with the answer. And the answer is no, it won't link. And this is because in the previous case, uh, this was a static const va value of in uh, variable of integer, yes. Uh, and it is possible to define it like this, but if we would like to take the uh, take the address of such uh, constant value, we should define it in one of the compilation units 
So, so it will be assigned an, uh, an address. And yes, we need this, this uh, definition at the bottom. Okay, will this code compile? Who, who answers yes for this question? A uh, couple of hands, I see, maybe half. Who answers that, who, whose answer is that uh, this code won't compile? Yeah. Uh, yes. The, uh, the answer is it depends, and in C++ 11 it won't compile because we use the if statements and we can't write this code like uh, with the tree graph argument the uh, function. No, we have relaxed. Uh, yeah. Uh, relaxed uh, uh, const expressions in C++ 14, yes. so we can use almost everything that it's not virtual in them. Yes, in 14, but in 11 it, wa it was possible only with this uh, other expression in the answer. Okay, it's a little bit bigger code and yeah, uh, what will happen? Uh, so. We have function talk, and over, there are different overrides of this function, and we have some decl foo that, re, that should deduce the type of the returned variable, yeah, and yeah, it should say something. So which option maybe you are, your answer is for? The first one. The, the last one, yes? Uh, okay, so one uh, is the last one. Uh, we have one answer that the last one will, yeah? And the first one. With, co with cost. Okay, uh, okay. Who's for the first uh, function that will run? Okay, one person. Yeah, two, two person, two people, yeah. Uh, who's for the second function? One. Who's for the third function? One, okay, and who's for the fourth function? A lot more. So, okay, an answer is yes, the fourth. There's a slight change uh, with the parentheses around the F, and what about this one? The third one, I have an answer. Someone else? Undefined behavior. No, that's probably, if, if, if it were the, the first, third, it will be the undefined behavior. Okay, so the answer is yes, the third one, and yes, this is because of the parentheses. So be careful of putting the, those parentheses at the end of the file, uh, uh, near the return uh, statement. Okay, uh, but is this code correct? Who's, uh, who answers for yes? And who answers for no? Yeah, and you're correct, of course, because Yes, you need to put virtual uh, before uh, you declare a function as a vi final. Uh, which one of this, those overrides uh, are used correctly? Uh, who's for the first option? First one is foo function. First one is foo, yeah. Who uh, who's, uh, will say that the foo o override for the, for from the struct B, of course, is the answer, correct answer, yes. Okay, some of the people. Uh, who's for the bar function? Who thinks the bar is correct? No one. No one. And who thinks the DD function is correct? No one, of course. Yeah. So only foo, because it needs to be a virtual function. Okay. Is there a difference uh, in both cases? Uh, who answers for yes? A lot of people. And who answers for no? No one, of course. Yeah. Make, make sure it's faster. It allows one memory block. Okay. What about this code? Which line won't compile for this code? Uh, who answers for A? No. And B? Okay, some of people, yes. And C? <laughs> and D? Some of people, yes, I see. I see hands at the end. And the answer is B, yes. And that, yeah, you can move mo mostly everything, but you can't 
you can't just copy. Okay, I I guess we are run out of time. We have much more yeah. questions like this, uh, <laughs> but you can ask us uh, after the conference about them. So right now, thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you.